We are outside the Aristocrat Lounge, just sort of north of the university. And what's special about this place is actually what's in the back of the Aristocrat Lounge. There's a chef named Ray Tatum who's been around every level of cooking in the Austin dining scene. He's got a place now called Three Little Pigs where he does obviously a lot of pork, sort of Asian-inspired dishes. I'm really excited. Let's go check it out. Rick. Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, what you gonna have? Twice cooked pork belly. I'd like to try the ribs. Venison sausage with Brussels sprouts. Crackling meat. Now, what is what makes it crackling? It's just crackling good. It's, not, it's just <laughs> crackling good. What's your favorite thing on the menu? It's probably the num top. What's that? It's a Thai salad. Oh, I didn't even see that. With uh, hanger steak. Yeah, what the hell? Let's get that too. Uh, oh, so can I can I just hop back and say hi and talk to Ray and yep, come on see back. you guys? Thank you so yeah. much. I know you've got a real kind of long and illustrious pedigree as a as an Austin chef. I started working at Jeffrey's in uh, 1980. I was there from 80 to 92. And this was, was like a real high end oh, fine yes, dining yes, establishment, yes. right? This Jeffrey's thing was just. It was awesome. They let me do kind of whatever I want to do. In 12 years, I grew from you know French style going into to Asian style, going into Southwestern style. So I grew with a lot of different types of food other than what I started with. Because I noticed a lot of your dishes here are sort of Asian yeah. influenced. Where did that Where did that come from? You know, all kinds. You know, whether it's Thai or Vietnamese or Chinese or Korean, they're different. But I just love Asian food. Running a business like this just strikes me as being a lot of work. I mean, it is. I am going on to be 65 years old, and I work about 80 to 85 hours a week. Wow. It's awful hard, but I love cooking. I love pleasing people. Sounds and good. I just, you know. Well, I'm really excited to try uh, what you're about to make for us. So uh, well, I think you're going to enjoy it. Thanks, Ray. Holy cow. Holy pig. Dining on a dime, typically we're eating inexpensive food, right? But it's a rare treat to be able to eat things that are on the level of fine dining. And this is all sort of priced in the $8 to $12 range, which is incredible that I get to eat stuff like this. It's, well, I'm very happy. So we've got here venison sausage, fried Brussels sprouts as well. When I asked Ray, hey, where's the sausage from? He's like, I get it from a friend. It's really smooth and it's almost porky. Like, I'm, I'm surprised that this is a venison sausage. All of this we saw, so all of this gets dropped into the deep fryer, which is a treatment that I actually really like for the sausage because it makes it kind of curl up. So it's almost like you're eating like, like a little pepperoni cup or something like that. Number two. This is the crackling meatloaf. This thing is straight up blackened on the outside, which I really love. This is served with collard greens, mashed potatoes and gravy. It is so sealed crunchy on the outside, like fall apart moist on the inside. That bacon wrapped around the edge gives it a nice smoked flavor. I mean, meatloaf is just comfort food, right? It makes you feel safe and like you're at home and like you're at your mom's table. There's this really nice sort of fruity, acidic sweetness to the greens. The twice cooked pork belly with bamboo shoots and with mushrooms. The pork belly is braised and then stir fried. It's spicy. It's got fermented soybeans on top, which gives it that Asian persuasion. You know what I'm saying? The pork belly itself, super crispy on the outside. What's nice about the way that this has been so thoroughly cooked is that so much more of the fat has been rendered off so that it's much more like a solid, like a solid piece. We've got the hanger steak nam tok that Rick recommended. Thai basil, lemongrass, fish sauce, onion, garlic. Uh, the hanger steak it has been seared on a charcoal grill, cooked beautifully, medium rare. Our last but not least, the pork ribs with bok choy rice cake, which appears to be like this enormous chow fun noodle. This For a minute, I thought they were starting uh, poison. <laughs> This rib has this beautiful, sweet, soy-based glaze on it. 
that is like really imparted and infused in the meat, the ribs themselves, to quote, an early ep episode of Dining on a Dime falls off the bone. Falls off the bone! One of my like favorite kid memories growing up, we took my whole class on a field trip to this Chinese restaurant downtown. It was one of my favorite places because they served these chow fun noodles. And for whatever reason, my entire like fifth grade class was going. And I remember and simultaneously also being really embarrassed because like, when you're like the only Chinese kid in your class and everyone thinks like you're weird and the food that you eat is weird and the way you look is weird, it's, you definitely feel really self-conscious. I mean, it's all like, it's all good. Like, you know, I've gotten over it, <laughs> but, but it's, it's definitely something like, like it's a food that I will always be able to eat. Like I, I can't, I could not eat another bite right now. I'm so full. When I get these little like rice noodles, these little chow noodles, I could just, I could eat this all the time. Overall, I'm just so incredibly impressed with this place. Ray's an amazing chef. Cooked some of my favorite food I've eaten during this whole series. This is such a wonderful place, Three Little Pigs in the back of the Aristocrat Bar. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime Austin. And if you would like to watch more, please click here to watch. Just kind of stumbled out of the bar after having a couple drinks and we're gonna go get some food. But we're gonna go visit this guy named Rich and he makes really delicious Louisville style ribs and chicken and hot links. What um, what mm. brought you here? Are you, you just visiting? That is so good. Isn't that good, right? Balls off the bone. Hey, we got a fan right here. Hey. That is so good. <laughs> Damn. Gotta go here. Damn.